Well, only on 13 tonight. Take a look. This is what a couple found in their box. A couple finds this: the military assault weapons right there in their online order from a government sur surplus store. Now the feds are raiding the couple's storage unit. ABC 13's Maya Shea is joining us live now, and uh, Maya, the couple is also saying they absolutely did not want these guns, and we're actually expecting these boxes to be empty. Yes, well, when you buy 108 boxes from a surplus store, you know you're not paying for the guns because they were like $100 or $200 per box. And they were planning to resell it on eBay. So they stored a lot of the boxes here at this storage facility where the Fed spent several hours this afternoon going through them because they were looking to see just how many guns the government may have accidentally sent to Texas. Take a look at these fully automatic M16s designed strictly for military use, and yet at least a dozen ended up in a suburban Houston garage. A surprise find by a local couple who thought they were buying 100 empty gun storage cases from a military surplus website. Just a case, and uh, everyone can can buy it online. But when a friend cracked open a case this weekend, it was far from empty. Not sure what to do, the couple reported the M16s to authorities. Within hours, ATF seized one box and quickly got a search warrant for the storage unit containing 100 more boxes. Experts were shocked. Maya, that, it's, it's almost surreal to believe something like that could happen uh, nowadays. Uh, it's incredible, it's unbelievable um, to think that weaponry of that grade, military grade style weapons would be shipped. Uh, in containers across state lines, right? That somebody to have access to that. It's pretty shocking. Retired Houston police captain and former Marine Greg Freeman says the military carefully tracks all of its weapons because any misplaced weapon can be extremely dangerous. And for these boxes to have M16s uh, cased in them is, and, and being shipped to a public destination, uh, not only is it shocking, it's a federal crime. The ATF confirms it's now investigating along with the FBI, but won't say how many weapons they've recovered. Do you inspect these before you sell them or did you, you assume they were empty? The military surplus website says it has pulled other gun cases for sale offline after ABC 13 contacted them. They've also notified the Department of Defense. Meanwhile, for the couple who just bought the cases to resell on eBay, they would like the weapons out of their hands. You're trying to be good citizens. We are. We are good citizens, I think. And they'd like to go back to their quiet and small business of reselling surplus supplies on eBay.